An angel is a supernatural being in various religions. The theological study of angels is known as angelology. Abrahamic religions often depict them as benevolent celestial intermediaries between God and humanity. Other roles include protectors and guides for humans and servants of God. Also, they describe angelic hierarchies, which vary by sect and religion. Some angels have specific names or titles. Those expelled from heaven are called fallen angels, distinct from the heavenly host. Angels in art are usually shaped like humans of extraordinary beauty. They are often identified in Christian artwork with bird wings, halos and divine light. So, how and when angels originated? What is their purpose and what do different religions believe regarding their existence? Let's find out more in today's video. Hey guys and welcome back! In today's video, I will dive into the origin of angels and what does the history say about them. Let's get right into the video. The word angel is derived from the late Latin word angelus, which in turn was borrowed from late Greek angelos, which literally means messenger. Angels are personal spirit beings created to worship and serve God. Angels are mysterious to us and they are powerful beings but they are all created as all things are. Psalm 142 lists various created things and everything, including angels, is commanded to praise the Lord. Praise Him, all His angels, praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at His command they were created. Verses 2 and 5. Angels are part of the invisible things and powers created by God and mentioned by Paul. In the Son, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things. They believe that mankind came from the earth. God scooped up mud and formed Adam's body, then breathed life into it, and man became a living soul. We are not told what substance, if any, God used to create angels, or what the process looked like. Since he merely spoke the entire universe into being, Genesis 1, it could be that he also spoke the angels into existence. We could say that angels came from the mind of God, and showcase another aspect of his creative brilliance. A popular notion is that people became angels when they die, at least the good people do. The 1946 film It's a Wonderful Life advances this concept through the fictional character Clarence Oddbody, who was a clockmaker when he was alive to 93 years previously, but is now an angel trying to earn his wings through good works. There is no Bible basis for the theory that angels are former people, in fact, the Bible clearly indicates that angels are different from us. Mankind is a class of being created a little lower than the angels. Even in heaven, the difference between mankind and angel kind is preserved. When were the angels created? When were the angels created? In the absence of explicit testimony, a plausible opinion would be that they were brought into existence at the commencement of the creation week. All created things came into being during the first week, Exodus 20, 11. And since the angels shouted for joy when the foundations of the earth were laid, Job 38, verse 4 to 7. It is not unreasonable to assume that they came into existence during the initial stages of God's creative activity. What is the nature of angels? What is the essence of angels? We do not precisely know. As indicated earlier, they possess the nature of neither deity nor humanity. Scripture does affirm that they are spirits, but then we do not know much about the nature of a spirit. A spirit is not physical. It does not possess flesh and bones. Angels thus do not engage in physical relationship. There is a little positive information about the makeup of those heavenly creatures. Angels are accountable to some type of heavenly law. For some angels sinned and sin is defined as transgression of divine law. 
Where there is no law, there can be no sin. What is the role of angels? Angels are ministering spirits that carry out the bidding of the Creator. They worship God and serve Him. In ancient times, they often temporarily assumed human form and delivered messages for Jehovah. Sometimes they functioned as protectors of the Lord's people. Some scholars believe that the expression, their angels, may suggest the idea of guardian angels, but the passage is too ambiguous to draw any firm conclusion. It is apparent that angels have an interest in the activities of Christians. When Lazarus died, his spirit was conveyed to the Hadean realm by angels, hence they appear to be employed in the Christian experience of death. Two, the Lord indicated that at the time of the judgment, angels will be used to gather evil persons out of the kingdom of God. It is significant that at the time of Christ's return, he will be accompanied by all the angels. While there are obviously many things about angels that we do not know, it is clear that these rational beings serve a useful place in the divine scheme of things. Angels, archangels, cherubim, and seraphim go back to Judaic tradition. The cherubim and seraphim are mentioned in the Old Testament as being the guardians of the throne of God. In later Judaism, seven archangels are held to lead the countless other hosts of heaven. The archangels are Uriel, Sariel, Remiel, or Jeremiel, Raguel, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. The latter three are well known in Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox devotion. The five other angelic orders that make up the traditional celestial hierarchy were added in early Christianity. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. What are your thoughts about the angels and their? Tell us in the comments. Also, let us know what else you want to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you with the next video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.